Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a kitchen which is not mine. This week I'm babysitting a cat which belongs to my friends. You may have seen her already in one of my videos. I'll put a link somewhere here. Not a link, but a suggestion, whatever it's called. And you'll be able to see that video. I filmed it a long time ago. I think maybe two years ago. This time I decided to entertain myself with some cooking for a video because, well, I'm sitting here in the outskirts of the city with a cat. Well, I gotta do something interesting for my channel, obviously. It's gonna be my second cooking video. Uh, the first time I cooked Mustika Piraka, which t turned out pretty okay <laughs> to my taste. But today I'm not so confident in myself because I'm making Muna Yusto. You may ask why I decided to make cheese. Well, first of all, it doesn't have a lot of ingredients. Secondly, I've never made cheese myself. And finally, I've never tried Muna Yusto. So why not? Well, wish me luck, because I think I'm gonna need a lot of it. Alright, let's start with the ingredients. By the way, I found the recipe on the website of This is Finland, so I guess uh, it should be <laughs> quite authentic. In the recipe it is said that you need 3 liters of milk and 1 liter of sour milk. I thought that it's so much and I'm not sure that I will need so much cheese because what if it's not tasty? So I decided to cut down all the ingredients. Like, in half. Not in half, how can I cut milk in half? Like, take half of the ingredients. And I have a cat here. If the tripod's gonna fall, it's her fault. Please, please don't touch it. It moved. Well, there was a little emergency, but we're safe now. And the cat is under the sofa. I have to show you the cat. Say hi. Say meow. She hates everyone. Apologies. Now she's staring at me with such anger with her eyes because she has eaten all her food and, well, she's on a diet, so I can't give her more. Well, it's not my fault that she gained so much weight. Anyway, as I said, I decided to use less milk and less sour milk. So we are having here one and a half liters of milk and... Uh, how much is this? 550 grams of sour milk. As I understood, sour milk is the things that I bought. I really hope that I bought the right things because there were different sour milk, sour milky products. Well, let's hope that these are the right ones. And we are also gonna need eggs. In the recipe it is said that we need four eggs. Well, according to my plan, we need to use two eggs, but I think I'm gonna use three, just in case, because I like to do things just in case. So, we gotta boil the milk first. Let's pour it in this saucepan. I'm always a mess in the kitchen, always. Do you think this saucepan will be enough? It's the biggest one my friends have. I also really hope that it won't be a problem that uh, the milk is from different companies because I wanted to buy a liter and a half and they didn't have uh, half a liter of this brand. Now it seems to me that there are so many things that can go wrong in this video. Well, we'll see. While the milk is boiling, we gotta add sour milk and eggs to this bowl and mix them together. Wow, see what it looks like. Ah, you, you can't see, you can't see, it's too bright. It's like jello. <gasps> One second, I'm gonna clean the floor. Back to the jello. <laughs> Ew, it looks disgusting. This one also looks like jello, so I think that these are the same products. Hopefully the products that I need. Oh. I gotta try it, don't I? Mm. It's not horrible, but I still don't like it. Now to the eggs. As I said, I'm gonna add three. 
So now I'm gonna mix uh, sour milk and eggs. Uh, the milk is still boiling, is it? And I'll see you when the milk is boiled. The milk has almost reached its boiling point. And you know, guys, I'm wondering whether this cheese, this Muna Yusto, is gonna be like uh, Leipa Yusto. Yusto Leipa. I forget this every time. Yusto Leipa or Leipa Yusto. Well, it will be Leipa Yusto to me today. <laughs> I actually quite like Leipa Yusto, especially fried in the pan a little bit. And since uh, I read that Muno Yusto is also fried or put in the oven for some time, for some reason it seems to me that they are gonna taste the same. Probably not, we'll see, because I think that Muno Yusto is a bit softer. Well, it will be an interesting experiment. The milk seems to be ready for pouring this mixture in, so let's start the magic. Well, I've already started the magic, but this is the part where the true magic happens. The recipe says that further on we should cook on a low heat, so I'm decreasing the heat. Yes! This saucepan is enough for this. Alright, everything is mixed together and the task is to stir it gently until it curls while cooking on a low heat. So I think it's gonna take a while, I'll see you at the next stage when this thing curls. Who is so nice here? I closed the door for her not to ruin the video by breaking my camera. <laughs> and now she pretends that she missed me. I don't believe you. She pretends that she's nice, she's not. So I've read on the internet that it's probably gonna take something like 40 minutes <laughs> until it curls. So I think I'm gonna have a coffee break. And you know it's great that I'm staying at the friends who have uh, the same interests as I do. Look at this. Here we have moment cups. We also have these to choose from. So I'm gonna drink either President tea, but I need to ground this first. Or we also have uh, Paulic uh, Classic with nutty and rich aroma. I haven't tried this yet, so I probably I'm gonna go for this. Oh, I should ground it first too. I thought it's already grounded. Well, they have a thing to do it with. And I'm also gonna choose this cup with the grog. Because I think that it's very underestimated character. Sometimes I feel that I am like grog because I can be very moody at times, but I just need something positive to brighten my day. I think we all feel like this sometimes. So this cup. The curdles look promising, at least in my opinion. My coffee is delicious. And I also have this kismet with sangmiyaki here. So I'm gonna enjoy myself and I think there's not very much time left until we're gonna move on with our Muna Yusto. So I think this stage is completed because the curls haven't changed much. I think if I try to show you, it all will be on the floor. I'll do a close up. Here this mixture is. I think I'm gonna leave it now. The recipe says to leave it in a warm place uh, for the whey to separate and uh, to leave it for 30 minutes. So I'm gonna do this now. Uh, hopefully <laughs> this stage will go all right. And I think the kitchen is warm enough or like not too warm. So I'm just gonna move it from here. I'm back. It feels like forever, but I finally have something to work with, which doesn't look like um, failure. <laughs> I can't find another word here. Here is how the mixture looks like. I think it is separated. And now I'm gonna move it to a different dish. It is said that I need to replace uh, these curls uh, into a sieve, uh, which is lined with muslin. But here is where the next thing is wrong. I don't have muslin. At least I can't find it here because it's not my flat. I guess that I might still succeed without muslin, but <laughs> this is the sieve that I found. It doesn't look like an ordinary sieve. This does, <laughs> but 
it's gonna replace the spoon that uh, I'm gonna use to put this mixture into the sieve. I'll see you on the other side. So here is the final result for today. It looks all right, I think. It looks like cheese a little bit. Uh, I pressed out the extra whey, I added some salt and now I'm gonna leave it in a cold place overnight. I'm gonna put some uh, lightweight press on top. I think it's for the extra whey uh, which is left there to come out. <sighs> So guys, I'll see you in the morning. I hope that it will turn out okay. And well, tomorrow we are gonna fry this Muna Yusto. Ta-da! So I'm very excited for the great reveal. I haven't seen the cheese myself yet. I just took it from the balcony and brought it to the kitchen. So let's see what happened to the cheese overnight. Here is the dish with water that I used as a lightweight. So, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> I can't get... Go away. <laughs> Go away. Wait a second. Voila. Here's our cheese. Uh, all the unnecessary stuff has drained out of it. And now I'm moving to the next step. Guys. <laughs> Everything that could go wrong in this video went wrong. The recipe says to bake the cheese in the oven at uh, 250 degrees and you gotta brush it with an egg before that. But <laughs> I failed to turn on the oven. Let me remind you, it's not my flat. I just don't know how to turn it on. So I decided to fry it. Let's see what's gonna happen. Well, it's still heat, so probably it's gonna work. Fingers crossed that it's gonna turn out okay. It took the shape of the sieve, so I have no idea how I'm gonna fry this side. Well, <laughs> wish me luck. And I'm done. <laughs> wait, wait for it. This cheese resembles my life a little bit because it has all fallen apart. <laughs> you know what? From this angle, it looks all right, I guess. So look at it, like, from here. <laughs> well, what can I say? It smells like Leipa Justo. It looks a little bit like Leipa Justo, but like demolished Leipa Justo. So the moment of truth, I need a fork. All right, it's hot. You know what? It's not bad. And it actually tastes a lot like Leipa used to. Something is different, like slightly different. But... Mm. No, they actually pretty much alike. I like it. I thought that <laughs> it would be a complete failure. I'm sorry <laughs> for talking and eating at the same time. But you know, it's not outside that matters, but it's inside what's most important. Seriously, this cheese has become a metaphor for my life. <laughs> and, well, it's tasty, it's like Leipa used to, and it's definitely gonna be my dinner for tonight. I've tried to find some cloudberry jam in this household, but I couldn't do it, but I found some strawberry jam. Maybe it would be okay with this. We'll see. <laughs> so, guys, <laughs> I actually really like it, so I can't stop eating it. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed this video at least a little bit. Tell me in the comments below if you've ever made this Muna Yusto or Leipa Yusto yourself. Also, please share your favorite Finnish recipes. Maybe I'll try to make them one day uh, when I get past this cooking trauma. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And now I'm gonna enjoy my Muna Yusto.